Hi there Xbox Gamers and guess what? Today is Gears of War 3 day. I've been waiting for this day for so long. Almost two years now. I'd say about roughly two years on the money. Um, for those of you, I don't know if uh, all of you uh, have come from my Mortal Kombat channel that I've also got on YouTube, but I actually did a, a video about Gears of War on there, which I'll link in this one. Bam! Um, there's pretty much my whole feelings on, on the on the game itself. It's an absolutely amazing game. And uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank, um, you know, Epic Games and Cliff, Cliff Blazinski and Rod Ferguson and Lee Perry and all those people who worked on Gears of War 3, uh, sorry, Gears of War in general, 1, 2 and 3, because they made such a fantastic title. Um, not many games come along that I consider to be almost uh, perfect in a lot of ways and I'd have to say Gears is one of them and I'm not just talking in terms of like gameplay mechanics, I'm talking uh, in terms of storytelling, for me storytelling is really big and soundtrack and, and the visual look of the game and all that stuff is just done so spot on and you know on top of that they added these kick-ass multiplayer modes like they added Horde, Horde in um, Gears 2 and now we've got Horde 2.0 in this one and um, you know just, it was so awesome like even in the first one just being, even though it got annoying you know to roll up to someone and go BAM with the shotgun and just, go, just, just obliterate them into like chunks of meat you know it's just such a great game and, and the Chainsaw Lancer is awesome. Gears of War is the reason I own an Xbox it's, the, it's probably the only reason. It's, it's the game that, uh, that got me to buy an Xbox. You know, I didn't really care much about Halo. I thought Gears was a lot better, solid title. Um, and I'm, I'm just so excited. You know, I don't even play. I, I had to work all day today. I picked it up first thing in the morning and I just sat there in the shop all day today. My, my Gears of War la uh, Retro Lancer and my Epic Edition. Just sitting there all day long, just waiting for me to go home to play it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I also want to take uh, this chance to thank Microsoft who gave me a Gears of War 3 t-shirt, which is awesome for this video. Um, and so what this is basically, I'm just doing an unboxing. Uh, I'm doing it in front of the green screen. The reason is I've got a lot of room here, because you have to have a lot of room when you're doing green screen. Uh, it's not because I'm doing effects and not applying them or anything. It's because you'll see this Retro Lancer box is huge. Oh, man. Look at this thing. That is amazing. That is fucking epic. So, let's take a look. I'll do the Lancer first, right? And then we'll get to the epic edition. Now, I've actually got orders down on a Gears of War 3 console and a Gears of War Vault for my standard slim Xbox that I've got. So I'll, I'll have the standard slim Xbox and I'll have the, uh, the Vault on it and I'll have the actual Gears of War 3 console. So I'm going to have all these Xboxes. It's sort of silly but I just love Gears of War so much. Awesome. 
Yeah. Oh, dude, the coolest bit. You need this, baby. You need that shit. Absolutely amazing. Um, I know it's hard. It, the lighting's not very good here because I've got spotties on, so behind the ca uh, behind the spotties isn't very. But uh, you can see the detail they put into this thing is incredible. Um, <clears throat> I believe they actually exported the wireframe from the Gears of War 3 3D model from the Lancer Retro Lancer 3D model and uh, used it to create this. Uh, it actually makes sound effects too. So if I can figure out how to get into that. Alright guys, so I'll chuck the batteries in. I don't know if this is right or not. It just makes this sound. Is that right? Post in the comments if it's not. Oh no, it sounds very weird to me. Just make shooting noise. Trigger activate sound. Okay, it's probably right there. It just says trigger activate sound, so. I oh, know, it's a bit weird, don't you reckon? <laughs> Alrighty. So, enough of the toys. Let's get to the real deal. Let's check out the Epic Edition of Gears of War 3. So, here we have the Epic Edition of Gears of War 3. Nice! Sweet! Nice! Again. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look inside. I've already opened it today, but I haven't really taken anything out. Now, the first thing when you open it is, I love this. This is just a phone that sits on top, but look at that. It's, it, it's actually inscribed with the COG logo. That, that's a nice touch to do that to the packaging. Because, you know, packaging is packaging, but when you go that extra step, it's nice. All right. And here we have oh, the limited edition, complete with metal to Dr. Adam Phoenix for his service to humanity. I can't wait to play this game. Man, I'm doing this video first, can you believe that shit? I got here two unlock codes for buying from EB Games in Australia. So I got uh, Commando Dom and Savage Grenadier Elite. Of course, the R hook, which is very sexy. My receipt. <laughs> And here we have the statue. Now, this one is where it gets a bit tricky. You take that out. <laughs> well, that's nice. Actually, get the artwork as a backdrop that you can sort of fold out. That's, that's cool. Now, the statue itself, I believe, has lights in it or it glows in the dark. It's one or the other. I'm not sure. But the armor glows. All lights up. Oh, wow. Dude. Oh, you laser. Dude. That is nice. 
Nice! <laughs> oh man, that is awesome. Seriously. Yeah, say guys, I mean, I don't Okay. You can see a bit better now. That is wicked. The 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 detail is incredible, guys. Like seriously, it's on a cog base for a start, which looks awesome. It's it's like a tough plastic, but the the painting, man, the painting is wicked. Got the gears logo here, nice. Ah, oh, beautiful job with this. Beautiful job. I've got the Lancer here. Um, it sticks into it. So let's uh open that up. Nice. <laughs> a lot of people gave Gears of War shit because they thought like it was like you know over the top stupid, but um, that's part of the charm of it. Like these guys are like make these. That's what they are. They're just so tough, you know, uh, that they can be cheesy and get away with it, whereas someone like me couldn't pull it off. <laughs> All right. So there's a little peg hole here for the lancer. The lancer just uh, goes into the peg hole. And that's it. And then you say, sweet. That's it there. Ta -da! Sorry about the lighting in this video, guys. I'm a bit, uh, I don't normally film these sorts of things here, but um, yeah, that is that is absolutely amazing. And now the lights, I don't know how they work. Doesn't look like there's any sort of switch, so maybe it is just glow in the dark. I confirm it's glow in the dark. Yeah. So the armor glows in the dark, it doesn't light up. That's cool. That is very, very nice. Um, I don't know. Let's take a look now at the actual edition. This material reminds me of the MK vs DC Universe sort of material I used for that packaging. Oh, that's really cool. Look, it's magnetic, man. Look at the presentation on this thing. That is amazing. Wow. So, oh man. <laughs> so we got the game in there. Right, well, this is the cooler part, I reckon. This is one of the best things ever. Look, you get a cog flag. How awesome is that, man? Cog flag! That is amazing. I don't want to unwrap it, but uh, yeah, but uh, what else is in here? We open that, and we can take the, uh, the metal out. And it has my unique code on it. That is sick. That is amazing. I can't show you guys the code, but 
So you take the cog out and on the back, it's got a unique code. Property of the Coalition of Order Ordered Governments. They did such a bang up job with this. It's beautiful. This is such a beautiful design, this collection. Man, I'm proud to have this in my, as part of my year's collection. That's pretty much it guys. Uh, thanks for watching this unboxing, like seriously, like this is probably one of my favorite unboxings because I love Gears of War, love them. And um, uh, just having the Lancer and the Epic Edition, I, you know, I, I do get like the good editions, but I normally never get the ones that high. That was 200 Australian dollars, that one. That was a big one. But uh, it, it's got, it's Gears of War, I have to have it, you know, it's like, you know. I'm just such a huge fan of the game, and uh, I'm so looking forward to playing it. Uh, apparently the reviews online have been saying, you know, 9.5 out of 10, 9 out of 10, that's incredible. That's incredible. The only thing that makes me sad is that this is the last chapter of the Gears of War universe. Um, I don't think it's the last we're going to see of Gears, though. I'm, I'm sure Gears will come back in some way, shape, or form. But, uh, yeah, once again, uh, thanks to everyone at Epic Games and Microsoft for keeping this franchise uh, so so good the way it was and, and not rushing it out there. I know, uh, even me at first, I was really disappointed that they got pushed back so far, but the end result is a quality product, which is, you know, this is what gamers want. doesn't matter how much complaining you get when, when you say we're, we're delaying it. It's better that you delay and get a quality product out in the long run. It's better for your product. It's just better all around. So, yeah, thanks again. And I'll see you guys soon probably for a review of Gears of War 3. So that'll be fun. See you guys then.